Pleased to be joined by Eddie Olchek up here in the booth and Ray Ferraro down near the ice. There should be some pretty good firepower on display tonight. We are as far south as you can go in the NHL. Sunrise, Florida, home of the Panthers. With thoughts on this, here's Ed. Doc, I have a feeling this game is going to be a game of cat and mouse. Back and forth, tight checking, and a hard-fought battle. If you make any mistakes there, there will be a strong counterattack. I expect the Cats to pounce on any opportunity here tonight. They win the draw. What next? Fires! He missed the net! That's what you call there. Grip it and rip it. He just missed it. Directing that one to Barkov. Passing one off now to Heinen. To Bertrano. Steps in from the neutral zone. Save! Pitching it to Chara. The Bruins with control at center ice. Laid on to Krejci. Florida's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Big drive! He scores! That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Panthers goal scored by number five. Snapping a pass to Carlo. Boston's in their own end and has possession. Yendel, time of the goal. Skates it into the zone. Stood up there. Good work in clearing it out. And so there is icing on this play. Over nine minutes have been played in the first period. Florida's got the lead, 1-0. Florida's quick on the draw. Shoots one. Oh, he got that! That is up close and personal. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. Bounces it ahead to Coyle. Looking to Carlo. A point blast! Wonderful shot block. In the slot. He saved it. Strong save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Save there. To Moore. One into another. And a save. Collected in the corner. Looks to make a play. To Bacchus. What a heavy hit. Propels to Brown. He scores! We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Just spoke to a representative from the road team. They're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injured player won't come back. Scored by number two, Josh Brown. Carries it to the corner. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Time of the goal. 15 minutes. Players! Oh, my. That one was way wide. As the shooter was about to let it go, the puck just went on edge a second. That's why the puck missed the net badly. Brings it in for an attack. Just missed! Pitching this one to Grizzly. In the fourth period. Chip to Hyman. Things are heating up with that hit. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Barkov's ailing, but he can't get off the ice. He's going to have to try and finish the shift. Ray Ferraro is closest to the action. Eddie Olchek is alongside Mike Emery. Yours truly upstairs. Pass to the slot. That's a great save. The Panthers have dominated much of this game defensively. They've denied shots to the net. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do, but he's been sharp on the relatively few chances he's had. Feeds the point. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide.
Boston's got another face-off win. Puck is thrown to Marshan. He won't avoid something for doing that. What a hit that was! Marshawn's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's gonna have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. Cursed by a broken stick. Boy, he could have brought more to that one. Good save. Missed all of them. Made that work for him in goal. Boston's prevailed on another faceoff. Moving it to Johansson. Gathered up by Pizik. Slid to Trocek. Somebody got in early, and so it's an offside. Florida's won that neutral zone faceoff. Great chance here, two on one. Stared him down and made the save. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Good, solid defense there. Skilled play by Pizik. Made the save. Pass attempt to Carlo. On to DeBrusque. Collected by Coyle. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. And now it's directed to Marshan. Lofted that one back in. Wonderful stop. Trying to go to Pizik. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Directing that one to Marshan. Shot. Great point blank save. Enormous hit. You want to be into a game, hit or be hit. Passing one off now to Pizik. Driving in from no man's land. Score! That's three in a row. Florida's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Florida's in control as they travel up the wing. A point hammer shot. Great save. He sealed it between his pads. Play home. Just under five minutes still to be skated. Florida's widened the margin to three goals. Boston's got a defensive zone win. Pitching it to Corrali. And this is Aaron Ekblad. Broke in at 18. Oh, he'll pay for that. He's not going to jump right back up after that hit, Doc. Shoot! That's a marvelous save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Florida's got a face-off win. Puck cleared back down the ice, and it is icing. Solid, clean win. That was one. He'll get the number off. That's why you play to the end of the game, regardless of the score. More collisions on the boards. Into the play in the second period. Scooped up by Yando. Boston's got it and moving up the wing. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Florida's performance has been stellar coming into the third. I would expect more of the same rather than trying to protect the lead against a desperate hockey team. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Moved along and in. Chara's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Biggest chance of the game. Too high. There is room upstairs, but he just missed. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. Florida's got it in their own end, hoping for center. And we have offside call here. 
just a hair under four minutes gone in this period. The Panthers feeling good about themselves here, three to nothing. Snapping a pass to Yandel. Face off upcoming, offside. He won't avoid something for doing that. The Panthers control from the faceoff. Back on his stick. Wonderful block. Gathered up again by Yandel. Hammers one. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. A shot. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. That was a tougher stop than a look. What an athletic save! Can he clear? Looking to Trochek. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. That clearing attempt will not go out because a teammate got in the way. That puck struck him in front. Somebody straight across. Puck has to be first. Offside. The Panthers win the draw. What's next? They've got it. And the whistle is blown. The net has come off its moorings. The puck's near the crease. You got to get there, but nobody's going to let you have a free path to the net. They bump into the net, and it ends up getting knocked off the moorings. The Panthers win that neutral zone faceoff. Gathered up again by Hoffman. He throws it there. Pitching this one to Wagner. Florida's goaltender has been locked in from the very beginning tonight. They try to protect this shutout late in the third period. Big hits in open ice. Right over top of him in the middle of the ice. That is a great hit. Brower's banged up here as he works his way back to the bench. I can see the trainer working his way down to his end. Florida's collected another victory on the faceoff. At the point, big shot! Puck is thrown to Marshand. Has it in his own end. Fantastic poke check. Moving into Bertrano. Enormous collision. Heinen flattened his man here on a night things have been going very poorly for his team. He hasn't stopped pushing hard whatever he can. But Toronto's tripped up. That should be a penalty. It is a lopsided tilt. There has been some penalty activity, and here comes a little bit more. The Panthers get their first power play of the game. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Stood him right up. 38 seconds. Pass attempt to Corrali. A collision. Pass cut. Lost possession there. Great moves in the zone. Say. The first part of this power play has been a disaster. They haven't been able to get into the zone at all, get set up, and get pucks to the net. Let's it go. Say. Score! A goal on the power play. Panthers prevail on the draw. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Brings a shot. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. And so icing is whistled, and back it will come to the other end for yet one more face-off in this contest. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Luongo's been an absolute rock and goal for his club. He's been so solid, they've been able to relax and play with an aggressiveness up front. Can't ask for much more than what we're seeing right here. No, you're right, Ray. Eddie and I agree. It's just another one in a long line of tremendous performances by him. 
Wrist one. Terrific glove save. Two on one opportunity. Save. They'll stop play and put the net back on as it's come off. Good job on the draw. Now it's directed to Grizzly. Play it goal. He'll pay for that. Seems like we've had a lot of this going on after a couple of the last whistles. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody's looking to dance in the future. And that's a face-off win. What a hit. I'd like to see a little more of that from him. Trying to go to Grizzly. Look out! Oh, here it goes! Marshawn's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the body on, everybody wakes up. And the horn has sounded, and this... Ferraro down at ice level. Tonight we have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. These are two teams from the East. Our game is between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Game about to start, but first, Eddie Olchek. The Eastern Conference has some of the best individual talent in the league, but as you know, this is a team sport. The players will obviously have to work together if they want to see success here tonight. Let's see how they do. Toronto's moving it up the wing. Has it back deep. Skates it into the zone. The Leafs lug the puck in their own end. Good grab again. Toronto's carrying it in their own zone. Directing that one to Marner. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Toronto's driving from the neutral zone. Pass to the slot. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Very little power as he glides back to the bench after being on the receiving end of that hit. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. 
Toronto's winging it at neutral ice. Linesman signals an offside. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Biggest chance of the game. In front. He scores. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Tampa Bay's got another faceoff win. Number 91. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Tampa Bay sent to the box for two minutes. It's triple. The Leafs are going to get their first opportunity on the power play right now. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. Passing one off now to Stamkos. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Pitching it to Sorelli. The power play will reset as it's picked up by Gardner. Snapping a pass to Marlowe. Good position in the slot. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. A little under nine minutes remaining in the period. Two goals so far, divided in half. Laid on to McDonough. Patrick Marlowe assisted by number Round it again. Looking to Strawman. Gardner. Time of the goal. 11 minutes. Somebody straight across. Puck has to be first. Offside. Tampa Bay's got that puck off the draw. Steps in from the neutral zone. Pitching this one to Strawman. Swipe that one at center ice. Good job defensively done there. That takes the pressure off. He scores! Two straight goals. Toronto's gone up by one now. The difference in shots on goal is not even close to one. Tampa Bay's taking that neutral zone faceoff. Assisted by number 24, Kasperi Time of the goal. Turned aside with a pan. Big hits in open ice. Well, that is a solid hit in the middle of the ice. The puck carrier drops his head for just a moment, and the hitter puts him in the sight lines. Throws it. Score! And this one is tied. Face off win, and now what will they do with it? Puck is thrown to Coburn. Oh, he put it in his own net. It counts against him. The look on his coach's face was priceless. He had to be the most surprised guy in the building. His player just turned around and fired this into his own net. I don't think this is going to be a happy coach when the player gets back to the bench. Scored by number two, Ron Hainsey. Time of the goal. Right in front. Save. Big drive. And still another save. What a show. Tampa Bay setting up an offense from the wing. Twenty minutes have been played now and still lots more to go. And speaking of lots, we've had lots of flashing lights in this one. Toronto's ahead in this last shot wins contest by a single goal. Tampa Bay's along the wing at center ice. They've got the draw. And he gains the zone. Grabs that pass. Toronto's forced another turnover in this very close game. Hyman's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Whistle is blown. Now the penalty will be handed up. Girardi's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripped. Tampa Bay's back in its own end, trying to work forward. 
Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Turned away with the stick. Collected by John Tavares. Nice work done with the stick there. Moving it to Stamkos. Pass cut by the offense. Puck out of the zone. And so they'll regroup. And he is reefed. Matthews always has a target on him. And he got absolutely train wrecked. He was not aware of who was around him. And he took the hit solidly. Score! What a power play these guys have. The Leafs have built a two-goal lead now. Perhaps on this faceoff, they can make it three before the end of the second period, at least. Tavares loses that puck while faking in the offensive zone. He tried to do way too much there, Doc. Has it in his own end. Toronto's in control of the puck through center. That is up close and personal. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Pass attempt to Stamkos. And now it's directed to Palat. And offside is called. A little over seven minutes played. At this point, some good offense, some strong defense. Six goals, it's 4-2. Toronto's in the neutral zone along the wing. This is tiring labor. That's a goaltender's best friend, a defenseman that can use a stick like that. That puck left the zone, and so everybody has to drop back to center. On that interception, might turn into something. Takes it right back. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. Very entertaining evening of hockey here. We have had all kinds of chances at goals. The defense seems to take a little break. Maybe they'll show up for the last half of the game. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. Great play along the boards. Tries to wear down his man by throwing the body. What a heavy hit. Hedman's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. Toronto's prevailed on another faceoff. The Maple Leafs are driving it from the wing. Shoots! He scores! Marlow! Toronto's now ahead by two, and they've had the puck an awful lot. Maybe it should be more. The Leafs win that neutral zone faceoff. Trying to go to Kadri. Back on his stick. Hammers one. Score! He's got his second. The Leafs have a big advantage in time of possession, and it shows in the score. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Good, solid defensive to play with the stick. To Marlow. Marlow's team has had their way tonight. He's got two of their goals. Cadre's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Through the corner. Toronto's got their man over on the delayed call and the goalie rests at the bench. Coburn's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Toronto's power play has been effective so far, connecting for a pair of goals. Let's see what happens here. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. And he holds on and stops playing. Big face-off win. Hammers it. He missed the net. Oh, that shot exploded off the stick. Just over the net. Could not be filtered through a strong play by Dan Girardi. Brings it in for an attack. Into the last minute of the second period. Toronto's looking to head man up the wing. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Shoots. A wonderful shot answered quickly. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. 
Good place to shoot from. And the period comes to a close. Wow, what a finish. It is the third period, final period of regulation time. We have started. Directing that one to point. Is able to move on in. Shot, they score! They only trail by a pair. Tampa Bay's goal gets them to within two. And we are in the third period. And there's still time for them to strike back. Toronto's won that neutral zone faceoff. Number 37, Yanni Gore. The Maple Leafs with a neutral zone possession along the way. By number five, Let's it go. Score! A terrific answer. Give up one, get one back. Toronto's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period for the opposition. At least that is fortunate. Takes that pass and looks on. Gathered up by Hedman. Turned on net. Got his pad on a changing shot. Two minutes, 22 Toronto's motoring ahead. Puck grabbed. What's next? Intercepted that one at an important place. Passing one off now to Kucherov. Canes that offensive line. That move not too slick there. Skilled play by Dan Girardi. Pitching it to Hedman. Not a free puck now. Snapping a pass to Pallad. Looking to Stamkos. Let's it go. Save. Gardner's trying to work his way out of his own end. He scores! Two straight goals. Toronto's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Driving in from no man's land. Pitching this one to Marlowe. With a shot. They can't find the target. You've got to make the goalie make the save. Can't do that unless the puck is on the net. Got it on his stick in the slot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. The goalie makes himself look big. Score! Three straight goals. Toronto's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Maple Leafs win the draw. What's next? By number 43. Takes it in from the neutral zone. By number 29, William Nylander. Time of the goal. Face off upcoming. Offside. Under seven minutes to go in the period. The Maple Leafs have done a wonderful job offensively. This is one that they'll enjoy for a long time. Here they come in an odd man rush. Who gets open? Waffle boarding. Goes to the backhand. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Well, I love the way that he plays the game. He protects the puck well, but he's a pass-first guy. So if you can get open, he's going to give you a scoring chance because he can find the smallest area to deliver the puck. He has been spectacular, Ray. Solid defensive play. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Puck is thrown to Hyman. Can start the attack going in the zone. Oh, and it's off the mark. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Wonderful block. The poke check worked. hainsey has been like a one-man gang today. He's been all over the ice, and his number is all over the score sheet, too. Gets it in a good place. Score! Four. goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Too high with the shot. Scooped up by Hedman. Off that right side, he's got a perfect pass. Way outside. And he's tripped and there'll be a penalty. 
It is a lopsided tilt. There has been some penalty activity, and here comes a little bit more. Toronto penalty to number 44. Morgan got possession. For obstruction, tripping. Can he make him chase it? 19 minutes, 21 seconds. Steps across that line. Shot. Big point blank save there. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Enormous collision. You don't see those type of collisions very often. Pull the trigger wide. Forcing attention in deep. Shot. Outstanding save. Just on reputation. You can smell a goal there. Moving it to Hainsey. One on one. Hainsey's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The clock is at zeros. The game is over. The Leafs take the victory. And they had the blessing of the referees. Now the power play came through. The coaches have to be extremely happy with the effort and execution. with high miles an hour, aren't we? Can this guy ever shoot it? Over 108, probably higher. No team worth its name is going to let that go. And we have begun one in a long list of games between these two teams. That's why we look forward to them. Biggest chance of the game. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Collected by Charlie. To his ground and got a block shot. Big hit there and more to come. Hangs on to it in the corner. Can he clear? The stick can break up a play and it just did. Bergeron's got it on his stick trying to get it out of there. Can he beat him here? Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. In that defensive zone, an important play. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. Save there. The Bruins are lugging it back through the defensive end. Goes back deep for it. Gathered up by Krejci. That is up close and personal. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be... He won't avoid something for doing that. Has it back deep. Boston's carrying it through center. Skill play by Petrie. What a heavy hit. He scores! So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Montreal's got another face-off win. David skates it into the zone. The big pillows came in handy. Directing that one to Bacchus. A rocket. Great save. Shoots. A brilliant save. And still another save. What a show. Over seven minutes remaining in the period. Boston's got the lead. 1-0. Solid clean win. Passing one off now to Coyle. That puck's loose. Good defense. 
Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Brings it in for an attack. Great stick there. Use that stick like a magic wand. Pass comes to him from the crease. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Nice work done with the stick there. Pitching it to Wagner. Has it in his own end. Steps in from the neutral zone. He is shut right off. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. Puck comes out of the zone, back to center ice, and so things will settle a bit. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. Stepping behind. That's just a good, effective close-off. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? Montreal's fallen behind after the first period because they haven't been able to possess the puck. They'll need to get on the attack if they want to push the pace going forward. Not a free puck now. Nice work with that stick, knocked it away. And he picks it up. Snapping a pass to Drew in. Shoots, score! And this one is tied! The Canadians have evened this game up early in the second. Over three minutes have elapsed here in the second. Two goals so far, divided in half. Pass. Terrific love save. Jonathan Giroux, and by number six, Shane Weber. Time of the goal, three minutes, three seconds. Won that face off. Now what? Montreal skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. I'd like to say that I think this game is going to open up and there's going to be all kinds of chances all over the place, but both teams have really adopted a never-give-an-inch style of play. I think this is tight checking right down to the final horn. Things are heating up with that hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Looking to DeBrus. Into the attacking end. Terrific defensive work. Carried towards the corner by Johansson. Pitching this one to Tatar. Shot! Score! He's got his second! The Canadians are ahead by one. They've been wheeling that puck to the net a lot. They've got the draw. Scored by number 24. Philippe Dano, assisted by number 90. Through the corner now. Strong play, good reach. Time of the goal, nine minutes. Looking from the corner. On through the corner. He imposed his will. A shot, wonderful save. What a skill level there. Equal to the challenge, nice stop. In front. Oh, what a terrific save in close. The Canadians are driving it from the wing. Shot, and a save. Strong wrist shot. Did not miss by much. Now that was an exciting moment. I thought he was going to score, but he just puts that puck wide from the slum. Turned on net. He scores! Three in a row. The Canadian second period lead is now two, and that's not a surprise because they've had the puck most of the time. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Scored by number 41, Paul Byron, assisted by number Shot! He scores! And that's four straight goals. The Canadians have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence. What will they say in the second intermission? Probably not much. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Puck is thrown to Moore. Moving it to Grizzly. Wonderful block. A howitzer fired one and it got the post. It's always fun to tease a guy that's a little bit peeved. Even though they've got a big lead, 
His shot hits the post, and now he's going to have to listen to it from his teammates after. I don't know how he got up after being on the receiving end of that hit. Just gliding back to the bench now. That puck's loose. Deflected away by Zdeno Chara. They can't find the target. We sometimes forget the speeds these guys are playing at, but accuracy is a key in creating chances. Shot. He scores! Just before the period ends. The Canadians have built a tremendous lead here in the second period. Not a lot of time left, but an entire third ahead. Perhaps they can enlarge it even more. What a hit that was! One way to wear down your opponent. Score! And that's the hat trick. There won't be many on the ice, if any. But he's got three goals. Forty minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Boston's turnovers in the first two periods, Doc, are the direct result of this score. They're lucky still to be in this game. Third period has begun in a very lopsided affair, but still lots of time for some credibility to be established by the team that's behind. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. Byron's got a real heavy release. When he gets to the open spot and the puck's delivered, he can one-time it very, very quickly. Okay, Ray, let's see how it goes for him here. Boston's got a defensive zone win. Pass attempt to Hyman. And now it's directed to Chara. Picks it up back there. Odd man rush two on one. Trying to go to Bergeron. Directing that one to Weber. They just keep working away, don't they? Picks it up in his own end. Gathered up again by Bergeron. Passing one off now to Domi. And in flight over the line. Puck picked up here. A slot wrister! And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Boston's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Canadians are going to get their first opportunity on the power play right now. Pitching it to Corrali. Six minutes, three seconds. Much ice to cover, the puck taken by Petrie. Snapping a pass to Shaw. Got in front. Got his pad on a changing shot. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Oh, man, that's got to be a penalty. Whistle is blown, and the guilty party heads off the ice. The Canadians get a minor penalty for charging. Good job on the draw. Looking to Tatar. Pitching this one to Coach Kanyemi. In all alone. Score! A shorthanded goal. Montreal's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. He imposed his will. To Deneau. Puck is thrown to Byron. Eight minutes, ten seconds. And that play is offside. And here's Ray. Deneau's had an almost perfect night. Prominent since the puck has been dropped the very first time. Three goals in any night means you've had an almost perfect game. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, he has been remarkable in this game tonight. Fun to watch. Boston's got that puck off the tie -up. And he gains the zone. Let's it go. Great opportunity denied. Laid on to Thompson. He scores! Montreal's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Wow, that's got to be a call, 
And the call is coming. The Canadians lose a man for two minutes for charging. The Bruins go on the power play yet again. Let's see how they perform. This power play needs more support all over the ice. Chuck it up high. Now you got to wonder with that save in the masses if it's going to affect him down the road. Moving it to Krejci. Nice stand-up poke check there. Pass attempt to Byron. Gathered up again by Krejci. And now it's directed to Bergeron. Shoots. Great save at the edge of the crease. Gets that one on a cross. Save. What a hit. Marchand's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the body on, everybody wakes up. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. A shot. Save. Terrific reaction to a scary shot. Two on one opportunity. And a save. Good solid defensive play with the stick. Big collision in open ice. Some of the more difficult hits to deliver are one in the open ice. That is a very good one. Propelled to Gallagher. Wonderful stop. Gathered up again by Petrie. Trying to go to Nordstrom. Chip to Gallagher. Oh, broke it up. Krug's got to shovel it out of there. Approaching the final minute in this game. Directing that one to DeBrus. <laughs> what a collision in open ice. And the puck exits the zone, breaking up the play. Late in the game, offside is called just like it is early. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Thompson's passed some feathery dishes across the ice tonight. When his teammates get open, he's been able to find them in the right spot at the right time. Ray, he's certainly one of the three stars in my book. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Good position in the slot. Got his stick on the shot. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Passing one off now to Domi. The poke check worked. Scooped up by Shaw. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Terrific determination by Coyle. Pitching it to Corrali. Seeks the corner. On the outside, a shot. Directed away off the mask. Boy, he made that save with his mask. Lifts one. Save! And the game is over. Well played, it was. The Bruins were outshot, outscored, and finally they get a rest. Because the game's over.
are ready for the opening face off, and so are we. The rivalry has to resume sometime, and that time is now. In a rivalry game, you expect this kind of physical punishment. Kucherov skating to neutral zone. Directing that one to point. Good place to shoot from. Blockered away. Passing one off now to Hedman. Pitching it to point. Snapping a pass to Gord. Looking to Huberdo. Pitching this one to Barkov. In all alone. Terrific love save. Play it. He won't avoid something for doing that. And so, get the penalty box doors ready. The gloves are off. Nothing new. A fight between these two teams, and this one is over. That's why we love rivalry hockey. Nothing better. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. A little over five minutes have been skated here in the first. We are deadlocked at zero. Puck is thrown to Palat. That puck is loose on a good defensive play. And he gains the zone. Collected by Stamkos. Tampa Bay is looking to head man up the wing. Gathered up by Steven Stamkos. He scores! That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Lightning goal scored by number 18, Andre Pallette. That is up close and personal. Doc, no surprise there. We expected a physical game, and we're going to get one. That early hit is just an example of what we're going to see. Moving it to Gore. Skates it into the zone. Has it back deep. Long lead pass to point. Oh, wonderful play. Tampa Bay's lugged it back into their own end. Shot got in front of another one. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Florida's got that face-off win. Skilled play by Yandel. Brings it in for an attack. Forcing attention in deep. Got that pass in his own end. Puck out of the zone, and the attackers regroup. Made that work for him in goal. Just under five minutes to go in the first. Tampa Bay's got the lead, 1-0. The Panthers win it. Yandel's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Tampa Bay is only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. The Panthers will have the man advantage, and this is their first one of the game. Just because it's your power play doesn't mean you can take a nap here. You have to work hard and continue to generate chances. And offside is called. Tampa Bay's got that puck off the draw. Pass attempt to Stamkos. What a heavy hit. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. A shot. Score! Got it with a man advantage. They've got the draw. Scored on the power play by number three. Didn't get any of them. Things are heating up with that hit. Hedman's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notice. Oh, what a stop. Great opportunity. Better stop.
the 20th minute of this period. And now it's directed to Bertrano. Last minute of play. In the Steps in from the period. neutral zone. Got in the way of that one. Trying to go to Gore. Tampa Bay is on the move up the wing. Twenty minutes in the books and a lot more hockey to be played. Both teams have connected one time. One one after one. Period two has begun. Both teams with the same number of goals. Directing that one to Hedman. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Gives it on a cross from the point. A rocket! Great save. Enormous hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. What a hit that was. Oh, that one's going to sting. You can't brace yourself like you're up against the boards. That rattles your body top to bottom. A great wrist shot. Score! Tampa Bay's gotten a one-goal lead. And lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Passing one off now to Trocek. Pitching it to Stamkos. He finished his shift right in the middle of the ice. going to open up and there's going to be all kinds of chances all over the place but both teams have really adopted a never give an inch style of play i think this is tight checking right down to the final horn and a pass that just did not work and forces the ball back as far as center shoots he scores that's two unanswered goals Tampa Bay's goal gives them a lead by two. Raises a question, too, here in the second period. Do they start to play it a little conservative, or do they go at him and try and make this three right away? Snapping a pass to Cobra. Driving in from no man's land. Score! And the bottle falls off the back of the net. Tampa Bay's been able to build a huge lead based on having the puck more off. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Scooped up by Johnson. Good, strong work. Icing is canceled. Here he comes. Got it. Nice. Has it in his own end. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Somebody straight across. Buck has to be first. Ball's up. The Panthers win that neutral zone faceoff. Laid on to Hoffman. Shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. He gains the zone. A shot. Score! He's got his second. Tampa Bay's lead is already enormous. Will they just sit on this now and get the horn at the end of the second? The Panthers win the draw. What's next? Hammers it. Terrific shot, but a save. And still another save. What a show. Gathered up again by Huberdo. Oh. 
Players tired, about to get a rest as we go late into the second period. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Luongo's had a rotten night. Sometimes you look at the clock and it never moves. He can't wait to get out of there. Yikes, this is an absolute disaster in goal. Eddie and I have shaken our heads a couple of times tonight with some of the way those goals have gone in. There are nights like that. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Hammers one. Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. Tampa Bay's coaching staff, Doc, told us before the game they want to get off to a good start, and they have in a lot of areas, especially on the scoreboard. They are well in control of this game. Let's see how they play it the last one. Knocked off the puck, looking to Barkov. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Great opportunity denied. Tampa Bay's built a lead on the fact that they've dominated puck possession. Their goaltender has had a very easy night in there. Hasn't had a lot of shots, but he stopped what he's had to. Pitching this one to Huberdo. Puck is thrown to Barkov. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Huberdo's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. They won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Boards are there to be used, and he does it with that pass. Hey, safety never sleeps, boys. It looked like score! He's got his second of the game. Tampa Bay's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Scored by number 10, JT Miller. Assisted by number 18, Andre Pallette. And by number 77, Victor Hedman. Time of the goal, five minutes. Goes back deep for him. Seconds. And in flight over the line. Picked up in the attacking zone. Shoots it off. That was one he'll get the number on. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. Tampa Bay's on the move, hoping to wheel it up the wing. Moving it to Miller. Not a free puck now. Gathered up again by McDonough. And he is reefed. And he picks it up. Pass attempt of Toronto. Moved along and in. Gathered up again by Huberdo. Now it's directed to Kucherov. Propelled to point. Terrific block shot. The price was high and he paid it. The Panthers are sitting on their bench waiting for that final horn to go off so they can get the heck out of here. This has been a debacle from the get-go. Steals that pass, a big steal. The whistle is blown. That heavy net has been lifted off. They'll put it back on. Oh, I hated that. You get so close to the net. The puck's there, you're fighting for it, and all of a sudden the whistle's blown. A lot of times, you don't even notice, but it's because the net's come off its moorings. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Routine save. Tampa Bay's controlling play now in the defensive zone. From the outside. Save there. A collision. It's been a bumpy road for them all night long, but this is a big hit designed to maybe turn things around a little bit on a team that's had a bad night. Offensive possession here. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Shoots. Wonderful save. What skill by both goalie and shooter. 
Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Takes a shot. Terrific glove save. And he's hammered. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. Tampa Bay's in their own end and controlling play now. Back on his stick. Trying to go to Callahan. Directing that one to Erne. Picks it up back there. Is able to move on in. Let's it go. Rattled the cage on that one. Tampa Bay's along the wing at center ice. Take it away. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. Bonk right off the coconut. That one's got a sting. Tavares, the first overall draft choice of 2009. Four years later, the Islanders made him their captain. Winner of Olympic gold in Sochi. A year later, he was a first-team All-Star. Laid on to Weber. The Leafs organizing back in their own end. Steps in from the neutral zone. World-class move. He scores! First goal to the visitors. Great start for them. We knew the scoreless tie would be broken. Who thought this early and by the visitor? Boy, the visitor's got to gain a lot of confidence getting this early lead. Good intercept in his own end. Collected by Shea Weber. Gathered up by John Tavares. Directing that one to Hyman. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Montreal's winging it at neutral ice. Good place to shoot from. Good pad stop. Fantastic poke check. Skill play by Shaw. Passing one off now to Johnson. Shoots one. He scores! Montreal's won that neutral zone faceoff. Number 18, assisted by number 44, Morgan Lyle. Scooped up by Johnson. And that is up close and personal. Doc, no surprise there. We expected a physical game, and we're going to get one. That early hit is just an example of what we're going to see. Pop loose, strong defensive play by Johnson. Pitching it to Matthews. Has it back deep. Snapping a pass to Shaw. That puck came back to center ice, and so everything slows down for just a bit. Score! Marlowe! Just a bit under nine minutes remaining here in the first. The scoring of the goal has made this now a three-goal lead. Will this become dangerous, though? What a heavy hit! 
that's the biggest hit of this game to this point. Maybe it'll wake up both of these teams. I love when the game is like this. Everybody has to think. Everybody has to react. There's no time to slow the game down. Pass. Gathered up again by Kadri. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Brings it in for an attack. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Goes back deep for it. Gathered up again by Jordy Ben. Through the corner now. The Canadians have it in their own end. Looking to Jordy Ben. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Great poke check there. And that pass really misfired. And so they must drop back. They've won the neutral zone faceoff. Opted for a fake out, but can't seem to make a move. Terrific hand eye. The clock has bled down to the last minute. Swipe that pass. Toronto's in complete control of this game because of their ability to force turnovers. Gathered up again by Brendan Gallagher. First period is over. A dominant period for one of the teams. Repair for the other. Period two is underway. Let's see if something happened during the first intermission that can bring this closer to even. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Toronto's got it back in their own zone. Great chance here. Two on one. Gates it into the zone. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. And has been the case in the NHL for decades. When you do that, you have iced the puck. And so another faceoff. A little over three minutes have transpired here in the second. Toronto's lead is solid at three to nothing. Oh, a save there. The Maple Leafs have dominated much of this game defensively. They've denied shots to the net. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do, but he's been sharp on the relatively few chances he's had. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Solid, clean win. Through center. Propelled to Petrie. Shoots it off. He got all of it, and so did he. Keeps it going through center. That's how you break up a play. Shoots one. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Things are heating up with that hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Oh, man, that's got to be a penalty. The Canadians get a minor penalty for charging. The Leafs will send out their power play unit for the first time. Toronto's got it again. Big drive! Blocker it away. The Canadians love the puck in center ice. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Pitching this one to Marlowe. And a pass that just did not work and forces the ball back as far as center. Terrific determination by Shea Weber. The poke check worked. And offside is caught. They've got the draw. Puck is thrown to Armia. Nice fake. Shakes him loose. finishes that check solidly and the bench is excited about it when a skilled guy gets involved physically it really stirs everybody up cuts off that pass in the attacking zone score patrick marlowe the leafs are threatening to run away with this game let's just see before the second period's over if there can be any kind of resistance solid win at center ice now what 
Solid defensive play. Didn't handle it very well. Three pot. Great poke check. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. If you can't score, you better hit him. Oh, broke it up. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Canadians through the neutral zone have control. Broke that play up at center. Moving it to Tavares. Intercepted that one at an important place. Regathers it. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Pass attempt to Tavares. Shoots. Hung right over him and couldn't get it passed. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Now it's directed to Marner. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. Nice work by Marlowe. Good standing poke check. Face off upcoming. Offside. Maple Leafs win that neutral zone faceoff. Two periods have gone in the books. There wasn't a lot of scoring in that period, but there was some, enough to build an even bigger lead. These two teams have played hard through two, and we begin period three. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Shoots! Great save in close. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. At least he protected his goaltender. Threatening an attack. Paddled aside. Had it away. Trying to go to Drew in. The Maple Leafs are lugging it back through the defensive end. Carries it to the corner. Oh, close but wide. Everything's got to go through the middle of the ice. That's exactly where he was, but he missed the chance. Chip to Tavares. Pass to the slot. Outstanding glove on a shot that changed direction. Passing one off now to Petrie. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. A little under six minutes gone in this period. Toronto's been dominant for nothing. The Canadians win the draw. What's next? Shoots. Of them got all of that one. Directing that one to Johnson. It's all on his shoulders. Oh, what a save on a marquee name there. Pitching it to Shaw. Driving in from no man's land. Great defensive poke. To Matthews. Slid to Matthews. Montreal's players are staring at the ice in front of them. It's like they can't believe they've been pancaked so badly here. Really, all they can do is forget about this the moment that the horn goes off and look forward to the next game. Stole that pass away in his own end. A shot tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Toronto's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. The Canadians will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. Walking a thin line near the border there. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Pass comes to him from the crease. Snapping a pass to Shaw. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. Oh, he delivered that hit with intent, Doc. Solid, solid hit into the board. You can feel them rattle around. Pass to the slot. Score! Got it with the man advantage. The Canadians have gotten one. A little more respectable but they trail by a whopping score. Can they turn this into some sort of positive to continue the rest of the way and maybe give us hope that this isn't going to be a cakewalk? Toronto's looking to head man up the wing. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Looking to Deneau. Saves 
there. Puts one on. And a save. Pitching this one to Marner. And in flight over the line. Has it in his own end. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. Oh, broke it up. Wonderful block. Freezes play. Toronto's prevailed on another faceoff. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Is able to move on in. Shot. He scores. That's an answer goal. The Maple Leafs control from the faceoff. That was one. He'll get the number off. Well, you can almost feel the frustration bubbling over here, Don. He just flattened his man. Maybe trying to turn. Scott! A pair of goals by the same team. The Canadians from the neutral zone start to work. Smart recovery by Gardner. Puck is thrown to Matthews. Fires. That one hit him in the match. He scored. Oh, I take that back. No goal. Toronto's going to have this goal wiped out. Good player is standing inside the goalie's pants. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Terrific determination by Johnson. He's all alone. Score! He's got his second. The Canadians have gotten one, but they still trail by an enormous score. Let's see if they can work on their flow, get their offense going, and maybe get a couple more to be more respectful. Ooh, looking for a penalty call on that one, and we will get one. Montreal's got two for charging. Good job on the draw. Moving it to Jordy Ben. Two minutes for charging. Time of the penalty. 19 minutes, 49 seconds. The Leafs win it. Lost the puck, just couldn't get by. Score! That's how a power play should work. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. The horn sounds. This one's over. Toronto's got another victory. It looked pretty convincing to me. I'd like to give credit to the coaches. So, Eddie, your observations before we start. 
The Eastern Conference has some of the best individual talent in the league. But as you know, this is a team sport. The players will obviously have to work together if they want to see success here tonight. Let's see how they do. That is up close and personal. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. Yandel's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Boston sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. The Panthers are going to try out their power play for the first time of the game. Uh, the numbers show if you get the first goal, you have a way better chance to win than if you're chasing the game. A power play, what a great chance here to get on the board first. Grab! Missed all of it. Puts one on. Got in the way of that one. And still another save. What a show! That second save was textbook. Icing is called. Only a handful of icing calls in most games in a period. But there were over 140 in two different New York American Boston Bruins games. They repeatedly did it to antagonize each other. And finally, the president of the league stepped in and said, you guys knock it off. And so the rule was introduced in 1937. That's why we got it. Shoot! The Bruins have killed off the penalty. And so we're back at full strength. He won't avoid something for doing that. has won that face off and angled to Ekblad deflected off the blocker directing that one to DeBrus passing one off now to Johansson Krejci's tripped and a penalty should be coming Florida's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Boston's offense making a spark here from the power play. First crack of the night. Chasing the game is a losing proposition night after night. You get on the board first, you win way more than you lose. A power play can give you that advantage. They must retreat and start back again. Has it back deep. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Puck picked up here. What a heavy hit. He did not expect to get hit right there. That is a big hit. Marchand's banged up here as he works his way back to the bench. I can see the trainer working his way down to his end. Pitching it to Bergeron. Goes back deep for it. The Bruins needed something from their power play and didn't get it. On the outside, a shot. Save there. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Over nine minutes have gone by. We are deadlocked at zero. Florida's got a face-off win. Snapping a pass to Bertrano. Really solid job done defensively. That takes some of the pressure off when you can use your stick like that. That icing is waved off thanks to the work by Bergeron. Things are heating up with that hit. Bergeron's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. Points it. What score! So he played a while in this period, and finally, a goal. I was hoping, Doc, that we were going to get that first one. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Skates it into the zone. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. And a save. Florida's gating it back in the road zone. Huberto's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Boston's got two on this one for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Panthers power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, their power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. What a terrific save.
Raz made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. Florida's got it again. Stood his ground and blocked that shot. Big hits in open ice. Oh, that's a good open ice hit right there. You catch him with his head down just for an instant. You close the gap and finish the check. Gets it out. Broke that play up at center. Somebody straight across. Buck has to be first. Offside. Just under five minutes remaining in the period. Boston's got the lead, 1-0. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. He finished his shift right in the middle of the ice. Boston's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Florida's power play fails this time, and so they are still down by one. Nudged off at just the last minute, so no luck on that pass. A whistle offside is called. Got the draw. Steps in from the neutral zone. Great poke check there. Collected by Huberdo. Near the last minute of the first. Laid on to Carlo. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Now that's a beautiful stop on a great scoring chance. They win the draw, what next? A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Good face-off victory there. Score! Panthers win that neutral zone faceoff. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 45 seconds. Hey, fans, don't forget to get the seat. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? Florida's fallen behind after the first period because they haven't been able to possess the puck. They'll need to get on the attack if they want to push the pace going forward. Wonderful stop. Looking to Bergeron. Displays incredible skill with that one. Has it in his own end. And he gains the zone. Let's it go. Score! And it's a one-goal game. Florida's gotten an important goal here. They call it the proximate goal. It gets you back to within one. And considering we're in the second period, that's a nice step. Pitching this one to Bergeron. That was one. He'll get the number on. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Boston's in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. Linesman singles an offside. A little over four minutes played here in the second. They have scored, and so maybe there's momentum here. Propelled to Chara. Puck is thrown to Krejci. One on one. An outstanding save. He didn't go for the deep. Shoots. At least he protected his goaltender. Play is off the goal. He'll pay for that. Neither team is giving up much in the way of room or scoring chances. Every inch of the ice is being contested. It's been a pretty good low-scoring game. Boston's up the wing, settling things. Stole that pass away in his own end. Brings it in for an attack. 
Defensive gem with the stick. Moving it to Krejci. Chip to Hyman. Shoots one. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Not a free puck now. Pass attempt to Carlo. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. And he picks it up. Great save. The whistle is blown. That heavy net has been lifted off. They'll put it back on. The puck's near the crease. You got to get there, but nobody's going to let you have a free pass to the net. They bump into the net, and it ends up getting knocked off the boards. The Bruins win the draw. What's next? Now it's directed to Hyman. Good place to shoot from. Swept aside. Skilled play by Chara. Just a backhand. Oh, a close call there. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Puck fired down. Decision made. Defenders first. Icing. A bit over five minutes remaining here in the second. The Bruins have eked out a two-to-one advantage. it again. Good, solid poke check there. One of the rare breaks in hockey is a call for icing. The Bruins prevail again. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. He got a piece of that one. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Good save. Gonna have to be something tougher than that to score. Solid clean win. Slid to Coyle. Let's it go. Blocker it away. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. A slot wrister. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. Five seconds left. Collect it now. Oh, he stood him up there. And this period is over. Wow. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? The Panthers are lucky to still be in this game. They've been outplayed in a lot of areas, especially with the time of possession. But one lucky shift or one lucky bounce, they're right back in it. Picks it up back there. Gets that pass behind the net. A shot! He scores! Florida's collected another victory on the faceoff. A strong pad stop there. What a hit! Oh, it's the open ice hits that hurt the most. That is a solid shoulder check there. Trying to go to McAvoy. Directing that one to Hyman. Flip to the opposite corner. He outskated him to beat the icing call. Passing one off now to Bergeron. It's all on his shoulders. Great save at the edge of the crease. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. Gets the puck ahead for a lead pass. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Very effective defensive play. Scooped up by Yandel. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Fruits going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Plenty of good looks on the power play. They got to stay with the same game plan. Eddie, I'm with you on that. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone, and get it on net far more frequently. The Bruins are driving it from the wing. 
Gathered up by Chara. Up the wing still with possession and with hope. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Tries to get it on net. Puck grab. They're ready to go. Shot. That's a great save. The Bruins have dominated much of this game defensively. They've denied shots to the net. Their goaltender hasn't had much to do. Breakaway. The Bruins have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. That puck is held, and the whistle stops playing. Another good job in the face-off circle. One of many today. What a percentage he's got. Rask's able to handle this one. Pitching it to Moore. The Bruins through the neutral zone, setting things up. A collision. Marshawn's skill is known throughout the league, but when he throws his body around, everybody takes notes. The Bruins win the draw. Fires! He was great in the lane. He scores! Two straight goals. Boston's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. The Bruins control from the faceoff. Had no shot. Good physical play. Let's a shot go. Say. Picks it up in his own end. And with folded arms, the linesman have signaled icing. We're just under five minutes to go in the third. They've scored again, and so their lead in this contest is three goals. Couldn't get through, it's loose. Wonderful play by the defense. What a marvelous collision. Unless you're in it. He finishes his check here and drives his man right into the boards. The Bruff's clearly in some anguish here. He's working his way back to the bench, but he's hurt. Snapping a pass to Pizik. Very important steal for him. Look out, here it goes! Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Save! Florida's got that face-off win. Gathered up again by Zdeno Chara. A hit that can make you mad! Puck out of the zone and the attackers regroup. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Grab! Great chance ahead! Back on his stick. The pass fails and the puck leaves the zone. He's got it. Florida's got it between the blue lines. Shoots! Terrific point-blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Good job with the poke check. Back and forth they go between the points. Wonderful save. Looking to Marshan. And that's this one. The game is over. A lopsided victory. I look at the shots and wonder if they didn't count the warm up. No hesitation.
Ice with Eddie Olchek. I'm Mike Emmerich. Ray Ferraro is ice side. We'll hear from him shortly. A pair of teams from the Atlantic Division compete tonight in a game between the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Toronto Maple Leafs. But before we get started here, the thoughts of Eddie Olchek. The Atlantic Division has a mix of storied original six teams and cup contending expansion teams. It's great because teams are constantly trying to make a name for themselves or uphold their tradition. It all makes for thrilling hockey. Let's it go. A good stick stump. Directing that one to Marner. Steps in from the neutral zone. Shot. He scores. Didn't take too long. One nothing. Toronto is ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Scored by number 16. Collected by Hedman. Somebody got in early, and so offside is called. of the goal. Two minutes, 38 seconds. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Passing one off now to Girardi. Into the corner with that pass to Gore. Puts one on. Save! Pitching it to Marner. Fires! He missed the net! There is no way he can look at that shot and be happy with it. He missed the net, and he's directly in the middle of the ice. Long lead pass to Point. Shoots one. Save there. And he puts the glove on it and stops playing. Over seven minutes have gone by. Toronto's got the lead, 1-0. Snapping a pass to Johnson. Skates it into the zone. Shot! What a shot, but a great answer with the glove. That is up close and personal. Well, there's no surprise there, Doc. We expected a physical game. The contest will be aggressive from start to finish. There's an early hit to set the tone. And a save! Stamkos is sent to the box for tripping. The Leafs go on the power play for the first time. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Shoots! Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Gardner stripped up. That should be a penalty. Tampa Bay's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Toronto's power play gets a five on three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A five on three power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net, make those three penalty killers move all over the place. Solid pad save. Good place to shoot from, and still another save. What a show. The Maple Leafs win that faceoff. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Tampa Bay is carrying it in the defensive zone. Looking to Sorelli. Pitching this one to Tavares. Up the wing with it now. What a heavy hit. One week score. A goal on the power play. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Skilled play by Dan Girardi. Important interception there. Let's it rip. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Toronto's got another win. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. He's trying to shoot the puck through the back of the net. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hit the net. He got a piece of that one. On the inside of the post and out. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Broke that play up at center. Takes it to the corner. Shot. Outstanding save with a glove. 
What a great scoring chance on the slot, but the goalie got on top of that in a hurry. Great glove save. Tampa Bay's got a face-off win. Kucherov's got this one between the blue lines. That puck came back to center ice, and so everything slows down for just a bit. Tampa Bay's up the wing, controlling play now. Nearing the final minute of play. Laid on, the Hainsy. Oh, you don't need the boards for one like that. I'm not so sure how he held on to his gloves or his stick after being on the receiving end of that spectacular open ice hit. Puck is thrown to Johnson. in the middle period and it's underway right now and he gains the zone moving it to Kucherov fires robbery there they score it's only a one goal game now And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Propel to Tavares. Stared him down and made the save. That great save was all positioning. Fires a shot. Save! He got all of it. And so did he. Pass attempt to Kucherov. Didn't get any of it. Chip to Gore. One into another. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Score! Toronto's ahead by two and thoroughly out shooting the opposition. A tad over five minutes have been played. The Maple Leafs just widened their lead. It's a pair. And offside is called. Tampa Bay's got that puck off the tie-up. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Brings it in for an attack. Gathered up by Johnson. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Oh, broke it up. Scooped up by Hedman. And now it's directed to Pilat. Shoots it off. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Enormous collision. That is one solid thump, Doc. He went right over top of him. The building erupted. Grab! Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Okay, they win the draw. are heating up with that hit. The Leafs win it. Let's it go. Score! He got the post with that one. The Maple Leafs have a big advantage in time of possession, and it shows in the score. Toronto's won that neutral zone faceoff. Slid to Gardner. He won't avoid something for doing that. McDonough's boiling for a fight here. He's been looking for somebody to dance with. And so a fight has begun, sort of. One guy refuses, so now we have another. This teammate did not want anything to do with dropping his gloves, and he's got some help.
They used their fists and got a fistful. Five each for fighting. Both these guys are going to get a well-deserved rest after that scrap. Much safer up here with you, Doc, in the booth. Five minutes for fighting for those guys. Over seven minutes to go in the period. The Maple Leafs, with the scoring of that goal, have a three-goal lead. What a hit that was! I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. Trying to go to Gore. Driving in from no man's land. Toronto's recoiling back in their own end. Icing waved off thanks to the hustle by Ennis. Takes it right back. Routine save, but a necessary one. Gathered up again by John Tavares. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Strawman's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. They've already had some success on the power play with a power play goal earlier in the game. They don't have to change much. Make sure you move the puck quickly and get traffic to the front of the net. Matthews is tripped up. That should be a penalty. Stamkos gets his name on the penalty sheet, a tripping minor. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. One of the biggest problems on a five on three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. Toronto's going back to get restarted with their advantage. Nicely done, might go back the other way. Good interception by Coburn. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Tampa Bay setting up an offense from the wing. Toronto's gating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Shoots. Score! What a power play these guys have. Toronto's getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter. And a full third period and a chance to enlarge. Four on the power play by number 43. Rowled it again. Austin Matthews. Five of the goal. 19 minutes, 12 seconds. A brilliant save at the horn. Two periods have been played. The score got a little bigger. In the advantage of the team that had it bigger in the first place. Interesting action in the first two periods. I wonder what we'll get as this third period has begun. Wonderful stop. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Oh, he thought he had plenty of room there, and the door closed on him. Nice stand-up poke check there. Hyman stripped, and a penalty should be coming. Girardi's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Toronto's to the power play again. They have been deadly so far in the game. The Maple Leafs win it. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Brings a shot. Got in front of another one. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. A little under three minutes have passed here in the third. Toronto's got a decisive lead in this one. Five to one. What a hit. Stamkos with the big hit. The bench jumps to their feet. Any time. Star! It's another power play goal. Toronto's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Maple Leafs score. Four on the power play. On to Girardi. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Number 16. Laid on to Stamkos. Perfect tip by the stand. The, the Leafs up the wing are moving the puck. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Great save. What's his next move from behind? A shot. Oh, what a block. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Marlowe's really juiced up his bench now. They've played well, but after he won that fight, it's like they grew a couple inches taller and they've dominated since. Okay, Ray, let's see how it goes for him here. The Leafs win the draw. 
the Kales circuit champion. Good, solid poke check there. Tampa Bay's long penalty kill has ended. He finished his check right in the middle of the ice. That hit might rattle a few teeth. Loose pop knocked away by Johnson. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Directing that one to Riley. Gathered up again by Johnson. Big hit. Possession gone. The pass is off the mark. What a chance that would have been. Puck leaves the zone, and so play goes back to mid-ice. Goes back deep for it. Some contact there, and the puck is loose. Passing one off now to Johnson. The Maple Leafs have had their way almost from the very beginning of this game. At certain points in the game, you start to lose your energy, but not when the game's like this. You feel like you can play for days as you pump up the scoreboard again. They've got the draw. Tampa Bay's winging it at neutral ice. Gathered up again by Coburn. Great save at the edge of the crease. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. And ripped to Johnson. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. And it's a pleasure to bring in the third voice on our crew. Rinkside, here's Ray Ferraro. Tavares gets himself into the scoring zone. The puck's delivered in his feet, but it doesn't matter because he's able to one-time it. Okay, Ray, he is a special player to watch. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. And we have offside ball here. Over five minutes still left, third period. Toronto's done a wonderful offensive job, rolling up the score in this one. Terrific determination by John Tavares. Let's it go. A shot off his head. Great cut. Big drive. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Shot. Marvelous save. No time on that one. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. Score! Toronto's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Solid clean win. Two sticks together, they cancel. Pitching it to Gore. Pass cut. Might go the other way now. It's all on his shoulders. Score! He's got his second of the game. The Maple Leafs from the neutral zone start to work. An offside has been called here in the latter stages of the contest. Face off win, and now what will they do with it? Pink drive! He scores! Toronto's won that faceoff. Tampa Bay is setting things up in their own end. Decides to go back and see if his goalie's got any better ideas. A shot! The shot is off! There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Snapping a pass to Zaitsev. Looking to Kapanen. Nice work by Dan Girardi. 
shoot. Save. The horn sounds. The game is over. Toronto's got another victory, and it was impressive. Cruise control for the majority of this game, especially... Jay Weber, we're all impressed with high miles an hour, aren't we? Can this guy ever shoot it? Over 108, probably higher. Plus Olympic gold twice, an Olympic all-star once, and he won't avoid something for doing that. Let's go down near the ice for Ray. Like most original six teams, there's a lot of energy between the Canadians and the Bruins as they meet again in another important game. Okay, Ray, thank you. Boston's prevailed again on the face-off of the neutral zone. Steps in from the neutral zone. Got that pass in his own end. Let's it go. Broke it right up. Directing that one to Hyman. Passing one off now to Hyman. Couldn't get his way through. In front. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Skates it into the zone. They score! A first one of the game, and it's early. Boston's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Pitching it to Krejci. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. Assisted by number 63. Good strong skating to outrace the opposition for the icing cancel. Oh, he'll pay for that. Over six minutes played here in the first. Boston's got the lead, 1-0. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Free puck off a defender there. It is hard work here to get the puck free. Here's a one-timer. Got it. Nice. A backhand shot. A sacrificial block. Missed all of it. Very important steal for him. A shot. Oh, what a save that was. Snapping a pass to Coach Kinyami. Shoots. Big point blank save there. Terrific stop from right in front of the net. But you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Looking to Petrie. Pitching this one to Tatar. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Save with the pad. Skates it behind the net. They've got all the gunners out. Picked up by the defense. Puck is thrown to Shaw. Has it back deep. Moving it to Bacchus. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Boston's won that face-off. They have it. Pass attempt to Heinen. 
Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Outstanding save with a glove. The Bruins win it. Collected by Patrice Bergeron. And now it's directed to Gallagher. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Montreal's prevailed on another faceoff. Brings it in for an attack. Sliced down. That is up close and personal. Historically, these two teams play very physical games. Not tonight. This is virtually a no-hitter. Save there. Trying to go to Drew in. He's got this one. He's got to hurry. One on one. He scores! Just before the period ends. Montreal's got another faceoff win. Directing that one to Marchand. Twenty minutes have been recorded. Both teams have scored just once. A little bit of a tight contest here as we're getting ready for period two. Period two has begun. Both goaltenders have buckled the same number of times, but they're good guys. Goes back deep for it. Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. Passing one off now to Bergeron. Solid neutralized poke check. In the slot. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Got it on his stick in the slot. The shot is off. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Laid on to McAvoy. Puck out of the zone, and the attackers regroup. Pitching it to Chara. Snapping a pass to Hyman. Good standing poke check. Shoots. No team worth its name is going to let that go. That one right off his hand. Amazing save. He holds that one, and it's a good thing because they were buzzing. Just under seven minutes have been skated in the second. Two goals so far, divided in half. And quickly to Carlo. Score! Boston's gotten a one-goal lead, and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. The Bruins win that neutral zone faceoff. That play went offside. And by number 46, David Krejci. Final of the goal, seven minutes, five seconds. The Canadians win the draw. What's next? Tries to get it on net, and a save. Buck fired down, decision made. Defenders first, icing. They win it. Enormous hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Oh, and he's hammered. I once had a coach tell me, hit or be hit. There's an example of getting yourself into the game. Oh, great move there. Lots on that to Marshan. May not have intended it, but it hit him. I'm generally a guy that's entertained by lots of goals and low-scoring games kind of bore me, but this has been pretty good. There's been chances, the goaltenders have been good, and it's been very physical. Boston's got it off the draw at center. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Fires! The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. He missed the net! You're not going to get many chances right from there. you got to hit the net. He just misses wide. Collected now. Hammered. He scores! A pair of goals by the same team.
Boston's got a two-goal lead now. Still in the second period. Lots of time to build on that. They've got the draw. Four by number 63, Brad Marchand. What a heavy hit. Brandon Carlo. And by number 40, in the slot. Score! And it's a one-goal game. The Canadians are now back to within one. Late in the second period, still time to even this up before the end. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Turned on net, score! And this one is tied! The Canadians have fought their way back into this, getting it tied before the end of the second period. Coach's words in the intermission, and an exciting third lies ahead. Montreal goal. Scored by number 92. And offside is caught. Assisted by number 24, Philippe Dano. And by number 53, Victor Mate. Time to the goal. 15 minutes. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. With a shot. Oh, he got that. Looking to Gallagher. Weber's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Brings a shot. Score! That's three in a row. The Canadians have taken a late second period lead in this one. That might change the conversation in the locker room at the Horn. His team is ahead in this game, and he's doing a wonderful job in the face-off circle, springing them. Blocked away. And by number 53, Victor Mate. Time of the goal. Hey, Ray, what's going on down there? Gallagher's had several opportunities to shoot the one-timer. He's got an excellent release. Eventually, it pays off. Okay, Ray, he is a special player to watch. Good face-off victory there. Heaves one. Save. Pitching this one to Carlo. And he is reefed. Bergeron's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. Two periods have been played. A lot of goals have been scored. The Canadians have connected. So have the other guys. But it's a one-goal lead. Opening face-off of the third period has started it. Puck is thrown to Marchand. Shot! The Canadians are looking to make a play out of their own zone. That puck's lose a good defensive play. Somebody got in early, and so it's an offside. The Bruins control from the faceoff. He gains the zone. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Moving it to Drew in. To Hyman. Pass attempt to Bergeron. Skill play by Marchand. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Pass. He saved it. Strong save. Now that's a solid save. Wonderful work done near the blue line. They score! And they've tied the game up! The Bruins have gotten this game back even, so maybe we will have the dramatic finish that we all anticipate when we walked in the doors tonight. To Petrie. Now it's directed to Domi. Steals that pass at center. The Bruins are driving it from the wing. Broke it up. Trying to go to Shaw. Directing that one to Domi. Has it in his own end. Propelled to DeBrusque. And angled to Krejci. Shoots it on. Wonderful stop. Passing one off now to Domi. Pitching it to Armia. He throws it there. Robbery there. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Canadians carrying on in their own end. This is an easy game to comment on because it's been nothing but goals. The puck hits the post low and stays out. The 
This one being contested on the board. Snapping a pass to Byron. Scooped up by Ben. At least he protected his goaltender. Chip to Byron. Passes to the slot. Score! The Canadians have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. And that's a faceoff win. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Carried right up the middle of the ice. Gathered up by Marche. Oh, and the puck goes out of the zone, and so they'll have to reset it center. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Approaching the final minute in this game. Looking to Bergeron. Moved along and in. Great save. Pitching this one to McAvoy. What a hit. Oh, he got jolted there. He wasn't expecting to get hit like that. Wonderful block. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Long lead pass to Petrie. Save! Sails it! Score! It's a hat trick, and here they come flying out of the stands. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Things are heating up with that hit. Oh, bad giveaway there. Snapped out of the air. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 31 seconds. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Dred's had an almost perfect night. Prominent since the puck has been dropped the very first time. Three goals in any night means you've had an almost perfect game. It is just another in a long line of outstanding games for him, Ray. A huge win of the draw. And worked up the wing to Krejci. What a hit that was! Gathered up again by Petrie. Puck is thrown to Tatar. And that's the end of the game. Well played. The Bruins have lost a close game. Their goaltender is tired.
Gators in the Everglades, home of the Panthers. And the game has started. What a wonderful matchup this one is. It goes back years. Laid on to Gorn. Directing that one to Huberdo. Steps in from the neutral zone. Saved there. Propel to Hedman. Passing one off now to Point. Shot. Score! An early goal, and they sent that home team back. Tampa Bay is ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Scored by number 86, Nikita Kucherov. Collected by Hedman. By number 37, Yay. Tampa Bay's got it back in their own zone. Braden points. And he pushes it on through mid-ice. Pass to the slot. He scores! Florida's prevailed again on the faceoff of the neutral zone. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. A little over five minutes off the clock. And so with the scoring of that goal, their lead is a pair. Drives that pass on. Feeds the point. Shoots. Got in front of another one. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. And so the lead has been sawed in half here. Not a great start, but the finish is most important. They're back in this hockey game. Scored by number eight, James Harlow. Skates it into the zone. By number 21, Vincent Trojan. And by number 63, Gary Shot! Solid club save. Six minutes, 10 seconds. Tampa Bay has got it in mid-ice. Trying for it. Score! He's got his second of the game. They've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Florida's along the wing at center ice. Andre Vasilevsky, time of the goal, 8 minutes, 23 seconds. They've got the draw. Pitching it to Palat. They've got a two-on-one. He scores! Two straight goals. Florida's got another face-off win. By number 10, Jim to Pizik. Assisted by number 18, Andre Slid to Stamkos. Moving it now up the wing. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. On to Strawman. Solid neutralized poke check. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. Oh, look at this. He's alone. Can they catch him? Gathered up by Pizik. And angled to Huberdo. Laid on to Stamkos. Knocked right off the stick. Somebody got in early, and so offside is called. Solid win at center ice. Now what? It's all on his shoulders. Right into the slot. That shot came from right in front. That was a tougher stop than a look. Over four minutes to go in the first. Tampa Bay's up their margin in this game to three. It's dropped. They lock up, and that's a good job by the winger. Snapping a pass to Barkov. Shoots. That one's deflected. Skilled play by Yandel. That puck exits the zone, so play has to reset. Shoots one. Pad save. Ooh, tough one there. Propelled to Gore. Lightning in that glove. In the fourth period. Scooped up by Hedman. Grabs that pass in the offensive zone. And a save. 
dangerous hit. You can hear both teams yell about that hit. One team trying to warn them, another team just celebrating the hit. We are underway with period two. I have had a lot was said in one locker room in that first intermission. Let's go! the hat trick. There won't be many on the ice, if any, but he's got three goals. The Panthers win that neutral zone faceoff. Somebody got in early, and so it's an offside. By number 21, Brandon Hoyle. Time of the goal, 52 seconds. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Looking to point. This is tiring labor. Pitching this one to Kucherov. Gathered up again by Dan Girardi. Tampa Bay's carrying on in the defensive zone. Puck is thrown to Gore. Moving it to Bertrano. Pass attempt to Huberdo. A backhand shot. Has it back deep. And now it's directed to Hedman. The net is dislodged, so play is stopped. A little over six minutes gone in this period. The lead becomes bigger. It's now four goals. Good faceoff win. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. Gathered up again by McDonough. Gathered up again by Pizzik. That is up close and personal. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Shot. Oh, seemed like a great opportunity. Wow, Doc. He was in the spot and shot that well off the target. I don't know how he missed from there. What a heavy hit. McDonough's often the object of a target. He's so good, nobody wants to give him much room. But he gets tagged there. Now ah, that pass has got to be better than that. Everybody has to get back. Trying to go to Killorn. Tampa Bay is making their way through center ice. What can he beat him here? What a reaction save. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Directing that one to Sergachev. Passing one off now to Johnson. Driving in from no man's land. Wonderful stop. That face off is one. A rocket. Broke it right up. Terrific determination by Coburn. And offside is called on the play. The Panthers win the draw. What's next? Goes back deep for it. Things are heating up with that hit. A whistle. Offside is called. A little under four minutes to go in the period. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. A one-timer! Wonderful save of an all-star shot. Brings a shot, and still another save. What a show! Solid clean win. Pitching it to Huberdo. The Panthers through the neutral zone carrying on. Let's it go. Great save. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Quick work on the faceoff. Back and forth they go between the points. 
Perfect tip by the stick. Snapping a pass to Gore. Cut that off between the blue lines. Linesman signals an offside. Brown's skating ability allowed him to really put a lot of force in behind that big hit. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. 40 minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment. Third period coming up. Interesting action in the first two periods. I wonder what we'll get as this third period has begun. Say, he freezes it in the pads for a halt to play. They win the draw, what next? Block it away. No team worth its name is gonna let that go. Gord's doing everything he can, guys, to get back to the bench after that hit. Tampa Bay's controlling play now at center ice. Whoa, what a play! Looking to Ekblad. The Panthers lug the puck in their own end. Face-off upcoming, offside. Gord's injury's apparent as soon as you see this hit. The collision was fierce. A little under four minutes have gone by here in the third. It has been more lopsided than anyone thought. Five to one. Pitching this one to Pillai. What a hit that was! He's not known for that type of play. And that's a face-off win. Puck is thrown to Girardi. Two guys on a breakaway. Big chance. Moving it to Yandel. And he is reefed. Pass attempt to Girardi. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Oh, that was a bad pass. In all alone. A save. He did not buy the deep there. Nice work by Johnson. And now it's directed to Hedman. Smart recovery. Breakaway! Tampa Bay is recoiling in the defensive zone. Terrific determination by Johnson. Turned on net. In the slot. He is shut right off. Takes it right back. Takes it in from the neutral zone. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Hedman's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Uh, he's been terrific, just like you pointed out in the opening a couple hours ago, where we expected him to be a player that makes an impact on the game. He's had a great night. Here's a look at it. Ray, he's certainly one of the three stars in my book. Trying to go to Bertrano. Has it in his own end. Cleared it back out of there. Missed all of it. Directing that one to Huberdo. Takes that pass. Here we go. And open ice collision. That hit might rattle a few teeth. Somebody straight across. Puck has to be first. Offside. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Passing one off now to Pilat. And that play is offside. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Gets in, looks over his options here. Big collision in open ice. Pitching it to Pilat. What a hit! And offside is called. And 
and they've won the faceoff. Tampa Bay's in their own end and shifting gears. Intercepted by Brown. That one's flopped in. They'll try to dump and chase and go get it. Stamkos carries it toward the neutral zone. That was one. He'll get the number off. Nearing the final minute of regulation. In the third period. Chip to Morgan. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Saved there. That puck's loose, defended away by Hedman. In the slot. Outstanding point blank save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. Flings it right above the goalie's shoulder off the crossbar. Snapping a pass to Barkov. And at least one more icing has been called in the game. Critical face-off win there. Taken away. Brings it in for an attack. And a save. Looking to Strawman. Pitching this one to point. Odd man rushes. Here's one. Let's see. Oh, a tremendous save. Denied a terrific chance. Oh, and he is drilled. It's been a bumpy road for them all night long, but this is a big hit designed to maybe turn things around a little bit on a team that's had a bad night. And finally, the horn goes. The Panthers saw the ice tilted every period. These two teams are ready to play, and we're ready to watch. The rivalry has to resume sometime, and that time is now. He missed the net. Oh, man, I haven't seen a shot miss the net by that one. That's got to be 10 feet wide. What a joke. Let's it go. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Steps in from the neutral zone. Cuts off that pass in the attacking zone. And a save. That is up close and personal. Dano's apparently got the memo here. This is going to be a physical game. Both teams are going to want to get on the body. But he wants his club to have the upper hand. Ripped along to Riley. Let's it go. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Pass to the slot. Got in front of another one. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Toronto's organizing things back in the defensive zone. Collected by Petrie. Directing that one to Domi. Didn't get any of it. Passing one off now to Domi. Here's a one-timer. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. He hammered that puck and just went over the net. Montreal's carrying it in the defensive zone. Important interception there. Got it right back. Let's a shot fly. Routine save, but a necessary one. Play halted down to the ice and right. Uh, these are always fun games. You get to play against the team that there's some history against. And with these two, the history's over 100 years old. Thanks very much, Ray. Pitching it to Armia. Intercepted that one at an important place. Nice job to get it from the boards to center. A shot. Oh, what a terrific save in close. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. 
good, solid defensive play with the stick. Continuing to move behind the net. To Marlowe. Gathered up by Codry. Using the point. Bad luck, broken stick. Good place to shoot from, and he does. He got a piece of that one. Back at the point now. Big collision and open ice. You have a hit like this, there will be more to follow. Couldn't do what he wanted. Snapping a pass to Goche. Laid on to Brown. Propelled to Thompson. Fantastic poke check by Muzzin. Brings it in for an attack. Off the mark. He leaned into that one. He got most of that, just Number misses one. the net. In the first period. One into another. And the whistle and the trainer. Hopefully not a gurney on this one. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Chip to Domi. First period has come to an end, and the goalies dominated this period of play. That's why the score you see has zeros. Second period has begun. No goals in this game yet, but we aren't done yet. A long way to go. What a heavy hit. Weather's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skin. In front, he scores! They kept working and working, and goal number one has been scored. The Leafs have been pounding away and pounding away, and finally here in the second, they've gotten the first goal. And that will help to at least clear the puck away. Toronto's got it in their own end, hoping for center. As that one measured at center. Nice job done with the stick. A poke check frees things up a bit. To Tavares. Tavares is playing with a lot of confidence after giving his team the lead. A shot. Save there. Oh, and he's hammered. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Good position in the slot. Score! And this one is tough. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Shot. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Has it back deep. Oh, broke it up. He corrals it again. Solid defensive play. And he hammers one. And a save. Let's go, Rister. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Poked away. Got to clear it. Looking for Johnson. Out in front. He scores! Toronto's gotten a one-goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. Montreal's won that faceoff and possession established. Didn't go very well there. Who comes up with it? Ah, oh, that's a good quick poke check there. They score! And they've tied the game up! Just a tad under eight minutes to go in the period. The red light has flashed four times to a side. Slid to Kadri. Goes back deep for Pitching this one to Armia. Cuts that pass off. He finished his shift right in the middle of the ice. He won't avoid something for doing that. They've got the draw. Puck is thrown to coat Kinyami. To the point it comes. Puck struck him in front. 
moving it to Jordy Ben. He is shut right off. Pass attempt to Coach Kanyemi. Loose puck blocked off by John Tavares. Great poke check there. On to Muzzin. The Maple Leafs carrying it on in neutral ice. Now it's directed to Deneau. Good defensive read with that one. Toronto's gaining in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. He could start some danger here. Price able to handle this one. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. 2-2 after two periods of play. Already, we are anticipating a wonderful third. This is the third period, and this game is tied. Skates it into the zone. Turned on net. He scores! Two straight goals. The Canadians have broken the tie here in the third period. So what will be their philosophy now? We'll probably see it from this opening faceoff. Trying to go two through in. Good defensive play. Possession changes. Directing that one to Deneau. The Canadians have gotten to center ice. Scooped up by John Tavares. Shot into the pad. A little under three minutes have gone by. The Canadians have a one-goal lead. They recently broke the tie. Solid, clean win. Passing one off now to Gallagher. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Pass to the slot. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Nice stand-up poke check there. Wonderful stop. Oh, what a stop. Equal to the challenge, nice stop. Gathered up again by John Tavares. Score! And the game is even. Toronto's gotten the game even, and who knows what will happen next. Somebody's got to break this tie, or we'll do it in OT. Laid on to Domi. Skill play by Johnson. Of the goal. Driving in from no man's land. Gathered up again by Petrie. Good work with the stick by Johnson. Pitching it to Tatar. Outlet up the middle to Kapanen. No! Well, he doesn't miss by much there, guys. That's a terrific shot. He just slid it past the outside of the net. Gathered up again by Johnson. Terrific determination by Petrie. Snapping a pass to Domi. And in flight over the line. Shoots one. Made that stop. What a heavy collision along the boards. Love the physical play. He takes his man right into the boards with a solid hit. The Canadians in their own end ready in attack. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Looking to Kadri. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Punched away. My, what a hit. Pitching this one to Coach Kinyemi. Right into the slot. Great stick there. Onside. In the slot. Score! The Canadians have gotten a one-goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two, or do they just try to protect this? The Leafs win the draw. What's next? The stick can break up a play, and it just did. 60 seconds left. Will it be enough to get a winner here? Time of the goal. Defensive Jim with the stick. Puck is thrown to Deneau. Moves up the wing. Fires. Score! A huge goal, and his team is up by two.
and they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Hangs on to it in the corner. Has it in his own end. To Gallagher. Gallagher's had an outstanding evening. He's looking to cap it off with the hat trick. Moving it to Hainsey. Things are heating up with that hit. That hit caused his stick to go flying. Good standing poke check. Retreats toward his own end. Pass attempt to Drew in. Cut that off between the blue lines. And now it's directed to Hainsey. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. And that play is offside. I think this is a good point to hear from Ray Ferraro. Drenz passed some feathery dishes across the ice tonight. When his teammates get open, he's been able to find them in the right spot at the right time. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, he has been remarkable in this game tonight. Fun to watch. The Maple Leafs control from the faceoff. That move not too slick there. There's the horn and the hockey game, and a thrilling one it was. The Leafs fall to defeat. What did you think? I thought their compete level was high. I thought their effort was...